today we will learn circle drawing algorithm today our algorithm is prisonum circle drawing algorithm let's say our circle is at random pixel p whose coordinates are x k y k so this is our circle and coordinates of one pixel is p x k y k on the circle now we need to find out what is our next pixel which pixel is our next pixel see there are two options one is next pixel may be n that is you have to increase the x coordinate by x k plus 1 then y coordinate may be y k or another option is next coordinate may be s you have to increase x coordinate by x k plus 1 then next coordinate of y is y k minus 1 note note this is octant so here x can never be decremented as per properties of a circle but y either needs to be decremented or to be kept same y is needed to be decided see here i divide this circle by octant okay now see always i increase x from origin i increase or from center of the circle i increase x by 1 okay and calculate corresponding y y may be the same or y may be decremented so always increase x by 1 and calculate corresponding y y may be the same and or y may be decremented and here x equals to 5 see here where is our cursor there x equals to y so always you have to increase x and calculate corresponding y y may be y k the next pixel or y k minus 1 mean may be decremented two options are there now from Bezanam line drawing algorithm we have to calculate which option we will choose here it needs to decide whether go with n or s whether we choose n or we choose s so we have to calculate the distance d1 and d2 if d1 is less then we choose n if d2 is less we choose s so how we can calculate d1 or d2 this distance so from center of the circle to this point minus the radius we get d1 and from center of the circle to this point radius minus from center of the circle to this point we get d2 for this Prasanam circle drawing algorithm will help us to decide by calculating the difference between the radius and the coordinates of the next pixel we get d1 and d2 the shortest of d1 and d2 will help us to decide our next pixel is d1 is shortest then then d2 then then we choose n or or if d2 is shortest then we choose s we know the equation of the circle is x square plus y square equals to r square so the function of the circle fc equals to x square plus y square minus r square okay this is the function of the circle now function of the circle at n means for this point we can write in place of x you have to write xk plus 1 n whole square plus yk yk whole square minus r square for this point this point should be positive always why so because here the value fn will be positive because n is outside of the circle so x x k x k plus 1 a whole square plus y k whole square is greater than r square because this point is outside of the circle so this point is uh, this function is always positive i repeat this function is always positive because this point is outside of the circle so obviously this point x k plus 1 a obviously this function x k plus 1 a whole square plus y y k whole square is always greater than r square in the same way for point a is our function is f s equals to x k plus 1 a whole square blood but here y is y k minus 1 so y k minus 1 a whole square minus r square this point is negative why negative because it is inside the circle it is less than r square here the value of f s will be negative because s is inside the circle that is x k plus 1 a whole square plus y k minus 1 a whole square obviously less than r square now we need to decide a decision parameter which is which will help us for calculating our next pixel decay here decay equal to fn plus fs 
Now see if the result of decay is positive means which one is greater Fn or Fs? Fn is greater. Fn is greater means this distance is greater than this distance. So, we choose S. And if the result is negative then which one is greater Fs is greater. Which one is greater? Fs is greater. Fs is greater means this distance d2 is greater than d1. So, we choose n, n pixel. So, see here, here either we will get the positive or negative value of dk. So, if dk less than 0, that means the negative Fs is bigger than the positive Fn. That implies point n is closer to the pixel than point s. So, we will select the point n as our next pixel. Or if dk greater than 0, that means fn is bigger and s is more closer than fs is smaller. So, we will select s as our next pixel. Now, you have to find dk. dk means what? dk means fn plus fs. So, fn is this equation, fs is this equation. So, fn plus fs is this. Now, we know that xk plus 1 equals to xk plus 1 and yk minus 1 equals to yk minus 1. So, replace this value xk plus 1 equals to xk plus 1 and yk minus 1 equals to yk minus 1, we get dk value. Now, our next, next task is to find dk plus 1, our next decision parameter. So, in place of dk, you have to write dk plus 1. So, in place of dk, just write in place of dk you have to write dk plus 1 in place of k you have to write k plus 1 ok now so dk plus 1 equals to this now we already know that xk plus 1 equals to xk plus 1 but we can't replace yk plus 1 equals to yk plus 1 because we don't know what is the next y pixel. We have to decide the next y pixel when the value of x equals to xk plus 1. We don't know what is the next y pixel. We have to calculate the next y pixel. So, in place of xk plus 1, we write xk plus 1. So, dk plus 1 is this. So, dk and dk plus 1 we already calculated. Now, to find the, our next decision parameter, what is dk plus 1 minus dk? That is equation number 2 minus 1. So, dk plus 1 minus dk. Calculate dk plus 1 minus dk. Pause your video and try, try to calculate it by your own. So, we get the result dk plus 1 equals to dk plus 4xk plus 2 yk plus 1 whole square minus 2 yk plus 1 minus 2 yk whole square plus 2 yk plus 6. So, this is equation number 3. Pause your video and try to calculate dk plus 1 minus dk. Now, if dk less than 0, in dk less than 0 means the result is negative. Negative means which one is greater? Function fs is greater than function fn. So, end point is we will choose n point because fs is greater means this distance d2 is greater than d1. So, we have to choose point n that is in place of y you have to write yk. So, in place of y we have to write yk. So, that when dk less than 0 then we will choose n point and the next point is then xk plus 1 yk that means our next coordinate point is xk plus 1 and the next y coordinate point is yk that is yk plus 1 equals to yk putting yk and then we will get this result and now if the opposite case if the opposite case occurs means is dk greater than 0 dk greater than 0 means the result is positive then function fn is greater if function fn is greater means d1 distance is greater then you have to choose pixel s so our next point will be x point it is xk plus 1 and y point it is yk minus 1 so in place of yk plus 1 you have to write yk min minus 1 so, in place of yk plus 1, you have to write yk minus 1 and we know yk minus 1 means yk minus 1. So, after calculation, we will get this result. Pause your video and try to calculate by your own. I repeat, when the value of x coordinate is xk plus 1, when dk greater than 0, y value of y will be y, yk plus 1 value is yk minus 1 where yk minus 1 is yk minus 1. So, we get this result. Now, 
another important thing is what is our initial decision parameter so decision decision parameter gk the equation is this so in place of x you have to write 0 and in place of y you have to write r because the starting point is 0 r so when we write in place of x 0 and in place of y r we get 3 minus 2 r this is the initial decision parameter next day we will learn the corresponding algorithm and some mathematical example of Bresenham circle drawing algorithm. For getting more and more updates, please, please subscribe my channel. That's all for today. Thank you.